Good morning everyone. Hello, how are you guys doing? Hola, como están? Konnichiwa, jin kediska, salam, halekupe, ciao, como estai? Welcome. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. I decided to just take, to start my morning with a nice walk, you know. This is what I do nowadays, just to get out of the house and, and be somewhat sane and not insane you know so here I am in beautiful nature with some cows behind me and uh, a beautiful morning you know it's, it's really chilly actually I don't know it's, it, I don't know if you can see the back there's some rain coming but uh, today I decided to make some poached eggs for you I hope you enjoy again I am very grateful and thankful to have you here with me um, and I will see you till next Tuesday with another episode please don't forget to like again to share subscribe like share and subscribe um, and you are watching cooking with Forrest Brown I hope you enjoy The ingredients are as follows, two eggs, six tablespoons of butter, fresh thyme leaves, a one quarter of a cup of vinegar, which I have already poured into a quarter of a cup of simmering water. This water needs to be simmering, it cannot be boiled. If it's boiling, it will break the egg. Also, I have two egg yolks for a hollandaise sauce that I will be making today, this beautiful morning, and two wheat toasts with a slice of orange and uh, half an apple each for decoration. So this meal is for two people. I don't know if I mentioned, half a lemon, and this will be for the hollandaise sauce that I will be making. So for the perfect egg, it depends up to you. If you want a runny yolk, you let it bo simmer for about three to four minutes. I like my egg a little on the medium side so not too runny so I'll be leaving it for about six minutes with this uh, vinegar water also another key in not ingredient another key suggestion is you want a swirly vortex so what we're gonna do before we dump in the egg is kind of make a water tornado like so and then we're gonna dump in the egg I'm going to do one at a time. Make sure to not break the egg yolk. Second egg. I'm going to make it on the hard side. So I'll be leaving it for about eight minutes. Yeah. 
And the good news is you can make these eggs ahead of time and then just leave them in your refrigerator they, for another rainy day. But you see the water is not boiling. It's just simmering. Close to a boil. For the hollandaise sauce, what I'll be doing is melting the six tablespoons of butter. You can clarify the butter. Actually, if you clarify the butter, it's even better. I'm going to skip that process and then just go ahead and melt, melt the six tablespoons. And I'm going to finish the sauce, the hollandaise sauce, on a water bath. What I'm going to be doing is I poured about half the pot of vinegar water. I'm going to go ahead and set this colander on top and my glass bowl with the two eggs. Sorry about that. And the key is to pour just a little bit, a little string of butter and whisk immediately. You don't want the eggs to become scrambled eggs. You want them to become a fluffy, delicious sauce. A little string of melted butter and whisk. The water was too hot so off the heat and we're going to continue the process. A little bit of a string of melted butter and whisk, 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 whisk. These are one of the items that the longer it sits on the heat, the more it will cook. It will become thick, it will become an omelette, it will become scrambled eggs. We want this to be a creamy, creamy sauce. A couple drops of lemon. And this is the consistency that you want. Okay, time to plate. Pinch of pepper. Pinch of salt. Tiny pinch. Fresh thyme. And there you have it, my beautiful souls. Some delicious poached eggs with the hollandaise sauce. Let's fix this orange. There we go. Half an apple. Very healthy, very, very nutritious. I used a wheat toast. Thank you again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As always, it is my pleasure to be here with you, and I cannot wait to for my next episode. If you have any ideas, suggestions, please let me know in the comments. It'll be fun for me to create something for you, as always. Thank you. You are watching Cooking with Forrest Brown. Till next time.